Hello everyone, welcome to Alan Digital. Today let's take a topic from permutations and combinations and see how to distribute distinct and identical things because I've seen most of the students being confused about this. All right, so I'm going to take a generalized case of boxes and marbles and we'll take the different possibilities of them being distinct or identical. So let's take these cases one by one and understand this thing properly. The first one that I have, both marbles and boxes are distinct. This is the same situation as distributing distinct books into distinct students, right? So think about it. Each marble have three choices, okay? Three distinct boxes to go to. And, and, and the marbles will go to the boxes. The boxes will not come to the marbles, right? So if I talk about empty boxes are allowed, then there are three to the power five choices, right? There are three to the power five ways of distributing this. But when I say no box is empty, then I'll have to use the principle of inclusion and exclusion. Hmm. Here I'm doing total is obviously three to the power five and EI. EI means uh, I'm taking EI as the ith box being empty. Okay, so 3 to the power 5 minus, you select one of the boxes and then the marbles have only two choices now, 2 to the power 5. Then you select two of the boxes which needs to be empty, so 3C2. And the marbles have a single choice now, 1 to the power 5. And the next term would obviously be 0, right? So then you can calculate it. This one would be 3 to the power 5 minus 3 into 2 to the power 5 plus 3c2 is again 3 into 1, right? Whatever this value is, fine. The next case that we have is identical marbles and distinct boxes. So the marbles are identical, the boxes are distinct. Isn't this the same case as distributing n identical coins in R beggars? So if no empty box is allowed, that means, no, oh, if the empty box is allowed, if empty box is allowed, then it is just n plus r minus 1, c r minus 1. That is 5 plus 3 minus 1, c 3 minus 1. So 8 minus 1 is, this is 7C2, right? This is 7C2. What about no box is empty? No beggar should go empty handed. That case was N minus 1, CR minus 1. So we have 5 minus 1, C3 minus 1 or 4C2, right? Okay, so this will be done by directly by beggar's method, not, a, not an issue at all here. So the next case that we have is distinct marbles in identical boxes. The marbles are distinct, the boxes are identical. This will be done by grouping. All right, uh, let's see how many different groups that we, that we can form of five marbles. So you have five, five marbles, which can be uh, made the groups as 005, 014, and then we have uh, 023, 113 and uh, 122. And these are the only different possibilities of the groups of 3 I can form of 5. For this one, if I do the grouping, it will be 5 factorial by 5 factorial. Right? For this one, it will be 5 factorial by 4 factorial, 1 factorial. For this one, 5 factorial by 2 factorial, 3 factorial. 5 factorial by 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 3 factorial. Now, because two groups are of the same size and the boxes are identical, we'll have to divide it by 2 factorial. Again, you have 5 factorial by 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Again, two groups are of the same size, so you'll have to divide it by 2 factorial. Now, the total distribution will be the sum total of all of this. 
if you want that no box should remain empty then you are going to take only these two cases and if you want that okay the boxes are allowed to be empty then all of these cases will be taken right so in the case of distinct marbles and identical boxes we'll have to do it using grouping without distribution the next one that we have is identical marbles and identical boxes marbles are also identical boxes are also identical now in the previous case that we saw we were dividing it into uh, dividing 5 into groups of 3 as 0 0 5 0 1 4 um, 0 2 3 1 1 3 and then 1 2 2 and these were the only possibilities now in this case if you see we are only concerned about how many number of marbles are there in the boxes because the marbles are not unique okay they are all identical the marbles are identical the boxes are identical so if you want that no box should remain empty then there are only two cases possible and if it is allowed for the boxes to be empty then there are total five cases possible okay so that's how you are going to do it no grouping here because the marbles are identical right okay let's understand this better with uh, a few examples we have the number of ways in which two alike apples and four alike mangoes to be distributed among three children if each child can receive any number of fruits alike apples alike mangoes distribution of identical things in distinct people beggars method right so if i talk about apples apples will be done see obviously we are going to use n plus r minus 1 cr minus 1 for the distribution right so apples will be distributed as 2 plus 3 minus 1 c3 minus 1 and for mangoes it will be how many mangoes 4 so 4 plus 3 minus 1 c3 minus 1 right and the product of this this becomes 4 c2 this becomes 6 c2 right 6 c2 okay so this will be 4 into 3 by 2 6 this will be 6 into 5 by 2 so 15 huh, 6 into 15 that is 90 right all right the next one that we have is the number of ways in which six unique rings can be put around four fingers if no finger should be without a ring so there are unique rings distinct rings and four fingers the fingers are also distinct right okay so i have six rings one two three four five and six and each ring has four choices right Four choices, four choices, four choices, and four choices. Right. Hmm. So the total choices are the total distribution are four to the power six. Right. But I am also saying that no finger should be without a ring. So I'll have to use the principle of inclusion and exclusion for this. I'll subtract all the cases where one finger is empty so selection of one of the fingers which is supposed to be empty and now the rings have only three choices so three to the power six then we add all of those cases where two fingers are empty so you select any two fingers and then the rings have only two choices now then you subtract the cases where three fingers are empty and then 1 to the power 6 because the rings have only a single choice now and the next term would obviously be 0 right and then whatever this whole sum is is your answer right you can simplify this as 4 power 6 minus 4 into 3 power 6 plus 4 c2 4 c2 is again 4 into 3 by 2 so 6 into 2 to the power 6 minus 4 c3 is again 4 into 1 right this will be the sum 
सो आई होप दिस हैज गिवन यू अ मोर क्लैरिटी अबाउट हाउ टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट थिंग्स वेन द मार्बल्स एंड द बॉक्सेस आर आइडेंटिकल और डिस्टिंक राइट एंड आई होप यू कैन अप्लाई दिस एनालॉजी टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स विद अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग थैंक यू Thank you.